We're gonna talk about the price and value in dogs today. There is no set price on any breed of dog. The maximum amount you can make on dogs is simply determined by marketing and marketing skills. Naturally, things that are hard to find can be worth more because in the market, there's less competition. So if someone's willing to pay $3,500 for a French Bulldog, and other people are charging 10 grand to 50 grand, they're usually paying extra for the name brand. We're buying a show dog that has great confirmation that comes from prestigious show lines with great pedigree. Whenever a defective dog comes about, breeders usually sell the dog for a much cheaper price as pet quality. A lot of the times they don't spay and neuter these dogs, resulting in people breeding them reducing the price substantially. As the new breeders of do not have proper paperwork as they were sold pet quality dogs. Flooding the market with non-pedigree dogs that people usually sell from $750 to $1,500 as opposed to $3,500 to $10,000. For American Pitbull Terriers, some bloodlines are very sought after and very hard to obtain. Breeders like Southern Kennels sell dogs from $2,500 to $10,000. Same with Tom Garner who sells dogs from $1,500 to $10,000 on average. While other people sell pit bull mixes on Craigslist for $150. Although I have seen people market and sell bully breed mixes for a lot more. The average asking price on these mixed breed pit bulls is usually $400 and can be found damn near anywhere in America. As for American bullies, this is a whole another ball game. As the UKC, the United Kennel Club, the first registry to ever register a bully, still has open books and will register any dog regardless of breed that matches the standards. So for American bullies, the looks of the dog is what sells along with the pedigree and paperwork for American bullies looks over everything. It is the only breed to have five or six standards, including exotic bullies that are not listed in this chart. There are XL bullies that are worth an absolute fortune. And this value is solely based off of what the breeder is charging for a pup or a dog. As I said, once again, there is no set price. Professional breeders keep track of how much cost goes into the care of these animals. Some breeds require more care than others. Cleaning up messes and veterinarian bills may cost a fortune. Breeds like micro bullies, French bulldogs, and sometimes English bulldogs require artificial insemination breedings and often need C-sections to give birth, which can cost a substantial amount of money. This is why not just any broke moron can breed French bulldogs. And the main reasons that make this designer breed so expensive so tell them the difference between a $400 bully breed mix and a real American pit bull terrier can be as easy as identifying low quality hemp to genetically engineered cannabis. It can be as easy as investigating the pedigree of an animal to determine whether or not the animal is thoroughbred. If a scammer tries to use Google images to fake the paperwork, it can easily be identified. Simple as asking for the pedigree or by calling the registry and verifying if the dog is legitimate. So asking the difference between prices in a dog could be as simple as comparing a Glock to a high point, comparing a Dewalt drill to a Black & Decker. Here's an example of a quality American Staffordshire Terrier. Here's an example of one from the slums of St. Louis, bottom of the line. You're looking at a $250 dog. Now compare it to a $1,500 dog. You can visually see the difference in quality. But at the end of the day, dogs are only worth as much as you're willing to pay for them. Like and subscribe.